Welcome to investigation 2.1, Walking Together. In this investigation, we're going to be adding expressions. And in all reality, I can do this walkathon problem with you, but at the same time, it's so important to just really understand what's going on. So we're going to just do a bunch of practice. We regularly use equations to find totals in real life. We'll find total profit, total miles walked or driven, total money spent at a fundraiser. But the basis of this all is just manipulating and adding expressions. So, for example, we have 14 t plus 15x and 3 times 2x plus 14. We can add these two expressions. So we would do that by doing this. We have 14 plus 15x plus 3 times 2x plus 14. Now, in all reality, we're done. But at the same time, it's hard to look at this equation. We have multiple x's, and we have like terms that we can add together. So we could rewrite this using the distributive property. So we had 3 times 2. If we, well, we'll first write 4 plus 15x. And then we have 3 times 2, which is 6x. And then 3 times 14, which is 42. From here, we can find like terms. 15x and 6x, those are like terms because our x's have the same exponent, and they're also just one single x. So 15 plus 6x, this can be added together, and it can become 21x. As well, the 4 and the 42 can be added together. Those added together will end up getting 46. So here is my final expression for these two expressions added together. Let's try another one. We'll have one more after this as well. We have 45 plus 12x and 8.5 plus 12x times 2. So let's add them together. We have 45 plus 12x plus parentheses 8.5 plus 12x times 2. We're going to do the distributive property. Again, we have parentheses here that we don't need. And yes, technically we're all finished. We don't need to do any more with this expression. However, it's not the cleanest thing that we have ever seen. So we're going to multiply 2 times 8.5. So we'll get 17. And we'll multiply 2 times 12x. And we'll get 24x. So we still have 45 plus 12x. And now we just need to do a little bit of math. We need to add like terms. We have 12x and 24x. Again, same exponent for both of them, x to the first times x to the first, or x to the first and x to the first. And we also have just an x. It's not y or anything like that. They're the same, x, or the same variable. So 12x plus 24 of x gets us 36x. And 45 plus 17, we can also do which gets us 62. So here is our final expression. One last one that we're going to do, and this one's a little more tricky, so if you're getting confused already, you might want to just pause and just understand what we have going on so far. In this one, we have x times parentheses 4 plus 4x and parentheses, and we have 9 times x squared plus 1. We haven't looked at x squareds yet, so this will be kind of fun and interesting. So, start out with, let's rewrite our expression, so it's two of, or one expression being added together with the other, four times four x, four times four x plus nine times x squared plus one is what we have going on. Again, let's do the distributive property, so we can get rid of those parentheses and make this slightly simpler. Four times x, or x times four equals four x, and x times 4x is technically this. And now we have x times 4 times x, so we have 9x squared plus 1 added to the end. If I look at this, x times 4 times x, I have two x's there, so I can rewrite that as x squared because they're being multiplied, and I have a 4 plus my initial one of 4x, and we still have our 9x squared plus 1. Now, again, we have like terms here. We have x's, and they're both being squared, so we can add those together. That'll become 13x squared. We don't have any like term to go with this 4x, so it's just 4x 
and we don't have any like term to go to with the one, so it's just one. So here is our, my final answer, and I could also rewrite this from the greatest exponent to the smallest exponent of 13x squared plus 4x plus 1, and that would be my absolute final answer. Play around with this concept of adding expressions together, combining like terms, looking at how things sort of manipulate with each other or like react with each other, and have a good time. I will talk to you later, and as always, if you have any questions, please ask. Thanks for watching.